hey guys in the last video we have uh, created the azure devops accounts and uh, we went through the uh, steps uh, to create the azure devops accounts so when you have created the azure devops account you land it on this page and by default you have one organization so you can create uh, as many as organization you want so organization is a kind of a container of the project okay so one organization can contain multiple projects okay so uh, how to create a new organization usually you have one organization but if you want to create a multiple organization against one as your develop account how you can create it so you need to click on the new organization and then you need to uh, name the organization for example say technical voice one two three you need to select where you want to host it and this actually depends on uh, if your users are in the Asia or in the United States so you need to select the uh, area nearby the users so let's take it the default type VD J X S W continue So it may take few seconds and then the new organization will be created okay so organization has created so if you want to uh, see the settings of the organization uh, you need to go to the organization settings on the left bottom side click on it here you can uh, change the owner of the you know organization you can give some description URLs you can see the projects of the organizations users of the organizations billing detail and many more that we will cover in later uh, videos okay so right now I am just going to delete it uh, so to, in order to delete you just go to organization details and click on delete and type the name of the organization okay so creating the organization and creating the project is pretty similar um, so currently we have uh, one organization and we now we will create a new uh, let me do it again so as you can see the organization has laid it so I have default technical voice organization so let's create a project okay so I'm gonna name it uh, technical voice project one uh, description blah 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 you can give whatever you want to do and then you can select which should be public or private uh, currently I have uh, the subscription where I can only select the private and click on that once there you need to select which kind of version control you gonna use for this project and which kind of the process you're gonna select so there will be two uh, uh, version control one is the kit and the team foundation version control uh, this is not being used uh, right now uh, it is old but you can select it it is simple and straightforward but I'm gonna use the git and for the worker process I'm gonna currently select only the basics you can select the agile CMMI or scrum okay uh, let's select the agile and create the project so currently I'm gonna uh, I have selected the private I cannot select the public because I, I don't have that subscription 
so if it is public anyone can access it other in the private you need to send the invite to the uh, users uh, that you want to access your projects or organization okay so hit on create project so your project is created okay and if I go to the organization level you can see that this there is your project you can create more projects uh, let's create one more project uh, technical voice project 2 and again private and you can select and then hit on create second project is created so if you remember to go to organization uh, settings you click on the organization setting now if I want to see the project setting I need to click on the project settings here you can change the name of the project the description you can add the administrator you can select which Azure Dev DevOps services you will use in this project you can delete the project you can create the teams permissions and many more things from there is and configure your project settings there that we will definitely do in the later videos okay so uh, let's delete this project and type uh, technical voice project 2 okay so we will work in the technical voice project one and uh, we will see how to create sprints and many more things so stay tuned for this series that's it for this video bye bye